inside the area. Josh Steele standing him up. It's in towards Carl Dent who claps his hands in frustration as he knows he was a whisker away from putting that one with this goal kick which is seemingly causing problems for the home team. They're not the decided to change tactics yet as Falaise goes up and wins a header on the halfway line. It's come for Ross Allen who's played a given. Guernsey nil is the score as Siver plays a sideways pass to Carl Dent who's looking to clip it out wide now for Scott but he's beaten to it by Falaise. Falaise has had a fantastic game out and left back. Not his usual position Nick Legg but really standing up to the task. Yeah definitely he's under a hell of a lot of pressure out there. Um, Craig got a frightening attacking lineup and uh, you know he's gonna have to be really disciplined really focused and show a lot of energy but so far he hasn't you know he's exceeded his years left hand flank if they decide to use him which they do and here comes Sivers early cross Falaise underneath it again and away for another corner Falaise not taking any chances with these deep crosses he knows that Scott is awaiting right behind him Found Siver, and now Siver looks for Scott on the far side. He's over here. That one is out for a throw. And this one side, they look a little bit rattled at the moment. Guernsey, I think, back for the home team and finds Scott in a wide area. Scott brought down by Falaise once again. Is repelled on the edge of the area, and Guernsey clear their lines. But Siver looks to send it straight back down their throat to Fales. Fantastic touch there to deny Scott any time or space on the ball. It's off or on. And referees decided we're not going to have that substitution yet. We're going to have play on for a, a little moment longer. Fales heads it forward. It's headed straight back to him. And now he's got his back to goal and he's really standing up to Brandon Scott. And despite his tender age he's certainly throwing his weight around out there Jacob Fales he's not being bullied or hassled at all it has to be said Reddit drop zone which they're currently lingering around here come the ones though on the right hand side they've kept the ball alive well and it's in the centre now one Guernsey nil is the score Guernsey are still in this game. Guernsey are still fighting in this match. They are not giving up. And all the time this score is 1-0. They are certainly a threat. And they've proven that so far. And as Nick Legg mentioned, the two substitutions from the home team really get anything in this game. Here's Scott. Falais looking to stop him. It's back with Dominic Yeom on the left-hand side. Who goes back with Falaise. It's helped on first time. And now Matt Loring comes in. Using it in recent time. But this, this team out here tonight are certainly not giving up. And they're certainly trying their best. VJ will giving up on it. Mandeli does well to win it for his team. And has to go back to Nick Blue. And Fale's there, rising like a salmon out of water and beating his man to the ball. Jo playing it for Brandon Scott, who's giving it back to Mandeli. Playing it back now with Scott. Keeping the ball well, once again. But they just give it away needlessly. It has to be Jamie Dodd and Alex Leprevo. They are certainly doing a fantastic job for their team. Domayo now finding Fales out on the left-hand side. He's being wrestled with Mundelli, but Fales has come out on top, and now Dominic Yom can clip it over. Fales giving chase, who's been brought to ground, and a free kick in a dangerous opportunity, Nick Legg. Jacob Fales bombing on from left-back. What was he doing up there? How Jacob Fales, what a performance he's put in. Great energy, great strength, and as you say, what was he doing up there? But fantastic work there to get a free kick in a dangerous position. Let's hope we can make this count. Grey Wanderers, they haven't deserved to go down, but here comes the delivery. In towards Fales at the far post. Seemingly stuck. One minute of normal time remaining at Hayes Lane. Guernsey trailing by one goal to nil. 
We're into stoppage time here. I make it as the referee Isaac Searle glances down at his watch. Two minutes of stoppages have been raised by the fourth official on the far side and two minutes for Guernsey really to get And the Green Lions make it a happier trip this afternoon in front of plenty of travelling supporters. Gets immediately in possession here, Alan plays the ball down. There for the promo, he's playing early ball out here for the run of Valleys. It's a little bit too far in front of him, maybe. No, nope, Valleys will get on the end of this. It's a good ball for the promo. First time ball back looking for Young. Headed down by Valets, and it's come off the crossbar. The save came from Pearson, and Valets within inches of getting his first goal for the Green Lions there. And eventually, two to clear the danger. One more for Grant's able to get on the end of it. Jake Valets in the box, and he stretches for it, and it's in. What a fantastic goal! How he got to that with his left foot, I don't know. What a fantastic goal for Jacob Valets, his first at Woods Lane. And Jacob Valles, what a finish into the top left hand corner. It's Fernandez in the middle, great ball out to Mark McGrath, whose first touch takes him past the defender. McGrath still in the box here with a good ball through. And that's Jacob Valles with his second. Lovely work by Mark McGrath to set it up. Jacob Fallows with the simple task of poking it in. So for the second time this afternoon, it's a Mark McGrath assist and a Jacob Fallows finish. Nearly gets past, while he gets past Dodd. Good challenge though by Dodds. He's hit a goal though and it's hard for the 